Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Roe v. Wade. The Supreme Court decided to overturn Roe v. Wade law. So I'm going to talk about a little bit of how it came about, um, how it's going to affect women, and what states have an opportunity to go against the overturn of the Roe v. Wade law. Um, this video will be for educational purposes only. Um, if you're new to investing and you want to start investing, I recommend using Acon. Acon is a secure and easy way to invest. I'll leave the link below. If you'd like to start investing, you get $5 you do. If you like um, investing in, so want to start investing in stocks, I recommend using um, Robinhood. I'll leave the link below for that as well. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Please click the notification or bell. And if you're returning, thank you. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So Roe vs. Wade is a decision by the U.S. Supreme Court in which the court ruled that the Constitution of the United States generally protects pregnant women liberty to choose to have abortion. It started in 1970 where Jane Roe in 1969 got pregnant with her third child and she wanted an abortion. At the time where she was staying at, abortion was illegal. Her attorneys um, decided to file a lawsuit to the U.S. Federal Court against Henry Wade. Uh, allegedly that Texas um, abortion laws were unconstitutional. Um, however, on January 22, 1973, the Supreme Court issued a 72 decision that provided a fundamental right to privacy in which protect um, pregnant women rights to abortion. The court also held that the right to abortion is not absolute and must be balanced against government interest in protection uh, woman health and premier life. So we're going to talk about uh, what states that can um, go against the overturn or uh, have some time left to, to battle this overturn. So the Supreme Court uh, rules that abortion is not protected under the Constitution, which means states now have the power to regulate procedures as they see fit. So let's check the legal status of abortion. So I'm going to show you a little quick photo right here that show the states that have that. Also, some states um, have um, chigger laws, uh, pre roll bans that can be used to prosecute um, abortion. Know that the U.S. Supreme Court has overturned the landmark um, abortion case. So I'm also going to show you um, a map as well of all the states that have illegal, legal for now, um, potential illegal, um, soon to be illegal, illegal and banned. Um, also, it have three states that have laws immediately banned most abortions, and that's South Dakota, Louisiana, and Kentucky. So, and that is what happening right now. These are the states that are being affected by the overtone, by the Supreme Court. All right. So now we're gonna talk about how um, Roe versus Wade gonna affect women. So the first point is travel. Um, can state punish women for traveling out of state to get abortion? I hope not. Because um, women going to state to state to do abortion, it would be very helpful for them. Just in case um, of an emergency, for a medical emergency. Um, so I hope they don't try to ban that, uh, punish uh, females for that. Um, another reason is um, how we affect doctors. So how will this affect doctor's ability to provide care? So in some cases, um, women do have miscarriage and do need to have treatment right there and then, especially in emergency room, especially in hospital. So having doctors to um, do all that work day and then will be helpful for people that have to have a portion. And so I hope they don't try to penalize doctors for treating um, women in that case. Another reason is, um, medical abortion so will people in the state will via abortion is illegal be able to access medical abortion um in some cases that um people do have male medical abortion come to them um another reason that people do get um medica uh, medication abortion is if they if they want to do self-managed abortion at the time 
at, at home. You know what I mean? So if Roe versus Wade uh, is overturned, that's gonna affect that. Because now they don't wanna stop um, having a medication abortion, um, they wanna stop making pills, stop selling them in stores. Um, people won't get that. Uh, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, kids make mistakes and they get pregnant. You need that. So it's like, it's going to affect all of that. You know what I mean? You don't, it's not good. Another reason is for um, low income women. So in some cases, um, for example, like South Dakota, uh, they pay for abortion for low income women uh, in case of life endangering circumstances rape um, except, um, also for for the pay for life saving abortions so you do have some states that also fund abortion for example uh, according to the ACLU only 17 states funded abortion for low income women on the same and similar terms of other pregnancy um, related and general health services. So um, by by having this um, raw overweight overturn, it might stop funding. And that's gonna affect a lot of women that don't have the money to pay for abortion if they have an accident. Uh, uh, for example, if they get raped, you know what I mean? They don't have money to pay for that, which happens a lot. So it's, 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 it's really not looking good in terms of uh, women in general and, and all over the world. You know what I mean? It's not setting a good example in my opinion. So those are the reasons um, how we can affect women. So this is the end of the video. So, um, yeah, I don't really like the idea of the role votes in way being overturned, but I hope the people in power realize that and put it back where it was so that way people can um, be able to have choice to do abortion. It can also protect women's health as well, which is very important. You know what I mean? So hopefully they can do that and let's pray up that everything work out in the next couple uh, months for women, okay? If in, uh, please follow me on Twitter, please follow me on Instagram, and I guess I'll see y'all in the next video.